Hey guys, how's it going? I got invited to go on First Coast News. Um, the the channel that they've got going on is Channel 12, WTLV, right across the street from where the Jaguars play. Go Jags! And um, yeah, I'm going to be on the First Coast Living television station, St. Augustine Sandman, and we're going we're gonna to do uh, some live music. I don't know what I can show on this channel or not, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm doing a couple of uh, originals. That song that plays at the end of every single episode, uh, Sail Away With Me, I'm gonna do the full version live on live TV. They invited me to come do it. That's pretty cool, you know, I don't know, live TV. Here I am, I'm at the station. Uh, I'll see how much I can get video of, I'm not sure. I get my own little room. We got TV, we get, we get free coffee. Sweet. Wow! This is Justin. He's the um, what? What you are like? Programmed everything. You're the uh, sure. Yeah. He's the boss. The, the sure. I don't know. You know. He has a boss, as we all do. We but all he do. is the boss. My here. boss has a boss, and that boss I think has a boss as well. Yeah, watch yeah. all of his videos on YouTube. I, I really do. I watch. I, I could go to YouTube right now. Every one of them I watched. I love it. See? I can't. I you know I'm not a lot of fish because I have five kids and I never get out. So I live through you, and I'm like, oh, oh, we got red. <laughs> this is the behind the scenes. About to get set up, and uh, we're jamming. Get your stuff and get out of here. <laughs> I'm getting kicked out. You're gone, man. You're gone. You're gone. Get, get the heck out of here. Get out, man. Get out. Hey, thanks a lot. It was fun. Hey, you're welcome, but gotta get out. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. All right. See you later. We're out of here. Well, you know I got to stop by Fish Bites to get my ice. So, three dollars, three bucks for two 20 pound bags of fish bites ice. Can't go wrong. I'm just leaving fish bites. I got some haymakers. So in the very last video I did, these are the bite or the fish bites, uh, the butt kicker and it's the haymaker. They have silver flakes, okay? There's silver flakes in there and the redfish are just loving them. So I got some more. Picked up some more, and uh, I'm gonna go try them in the surf. I decided to throw the cast net for some bait, so I could toss underneath the Matanzas Bridge. What are we getting here? Oh, that's a big old mullet. Oh, we got some smallies. All right, we got some small mullet. Yeah, we don't need this guy. That's a, that's a little big. Oh, dang, we got a shrimp too. That's cool. Hey. Try it again. Get some more bait. That's good. I love this bucket lid. I don't know if I ever showed you this bucket lid, but you can put your like, you got like a bobber in there and go straight into your bait there. We may have enough in this. Yeah, this might be enough. Here we go. We got plenty of baits. Ooh, we. We may have even caught a redfish. Let me, hold on, I gotta get to my bait bucket real quick. I think we caught a big old pinfish. Kinda, I don't know. Kinda looks like a drum, but we'll get it back. Not sure what that one is. Get him back, get out of my bait, get out of my bait. <laughs> you can't let these guys go for a second. I am taking these mullet though. I would like some mullet. All day, take these mullet. It's a great, great bait. No, there's mullet all over them. You just gotta get a little bit deeper. I think we're good. Let's go rinse this net off and let's get to fishing. So this is Gopher Tortoise Crossing. And we have one in action here. He's a hungry guy. Go ahead, boy, it's okay. It's okay, I'll leave you alone. But there's a, yeah, there's a gopher tortoise, tortoise. And uh, that's a big one. It's a decent sized one. On the way to the fishing. 
This is pretty cool. I love the Matanzas Inlet. You never know. Tide's really low. Um, we're going to fish the incoming tide. Just walking down by the bridge to get to my spot. All right, this is what I'm going with here. I got my two live mullet, little tiny guys, no bigger than a pinky finger. And I got it on a double drop rig I made myself. I got a sinker guy sputting it going four ounces. I'm just going to launch it out into this incoming tide. Now with the incoming tide, you got to check your Sputnik. Make sure you check your Sputnik weight because it will get buried and you'll never get it back. Over the bar 13 foot rod. You don't need that here. You only need maybe an over the bar 10 foot rod, but all I, all I own is a 13. Um, Penn Spin Fisher 6, 5500 reel. And I've got a Carolina rig set up over here. Which I'm going to keep in close. I'm going to have to put a little heavier weight on it, I think. But I've got the same bait on it. i got a live little mullet. Trying to keep it right here by the bridge. Here we go. We got something. Oh, we got something big. It's swimming quick. This could be a shark. Oh, I don't know. Swimming like a big blue. Uh, see if we can get it. Oh, he just popped off at the beach. That's too bad. It looked like a big old sand trout. Dang. Now there's a lot of wind coming through here. There's nothing I could do. We got a storm on the horizon, so lots of wind. Just got my beach cart with me. Got some live bait. We just had a big freaking trout on. It shook the hook right at the beach. That's fishing. But at least we had some action. That was pretty cool. And it ate the live mullet on the uh, size two Mutu circle hook. I got a double drop rig I just made while I was sitting here on the beach. It's kind of difficult in the wind, but I uh, didn't bring any with me because they're in my other bag. So make sure you learn how to tie double drop rigs just in case you forget all yours at home. All right, let's see if we can get this guy in this time. I think we can. Oh, come on. What is this? Okay, it is a trout. All right, it's a good speckled trout. Spotted sea trout. This is a good one. Oh, see how easy he shook the hook? Totally shook the hook. That's a good trout though. Let's get this bait out real quick. Get this bait back in the water while I go measure this guy up. All right, sling the bait out because if the school's there, I want to keep catching them. Go see what size this trout is here. This guy is right at 15 inches, so we have to get him back. He is uh, he is legal because he is 15 inches, but he's a little shy, so I'm just gonna let him go. Get him out of here. Yeah, baby, there's something on this one. It's running too. It's running. Come on, baby. What is it? Please get it in. Please get it in. Come on. Don't spit the hook. Don't spit the hook. Woo! That's like, ooh, this might be a keeper mangrove. Am I on? Is this camera even on? Is this camera on? It is on. Guys, you got to witness that on my Daiwa BG 3000. Just two ounce. Oh God, that's that's like a, a half ounce. That's a half ounce weight with just a, a, a live mullet on there. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're working with with this guy. Let's see what we're working with. 
get that out of there. As far as size goes, they have to be 10 inches. God, he is a keeper. He's over 10 inches. Oh, we can back him up even more. Yep. He's 10 and a half inches long. I don't know how well you can see that in this photo, but yeah, there, there's the, uh, he's, he's almost, yeah, he's 10 and a half. That is a keeper mangrove snapper, guys. I absolutely love these guys. I love these on tacos, but since it's the first keeper I've gotten this summer, you're a lucky dude. Look at those fangs. Check out those fangs. See you later, dude. Thanks for playing. Wow. Yes. Super duper light tackle. I love this Daiwa BG3000. I got this thing in the Fish Bites trading post. You guys should check it out. So I'm just tossing this guy in real shallow. There, there's a sea turtle. I don't know if you can even see this guy. He's right below my feet. Uh, he's, he's hanging out with me. I honestly don't know if I have time, how much time, or if the storm's gonna pass. I don't have my phone with me to know the radar. It feels like we're good though. So I'm just gonna keep fishing. I'm having fun. So the pressure, I can feel the pressure and it's, it's frenzying up these fish. So the bite is turning on. We do have a tide coming in. It's the very beginning of the incoming tide. So with the pressure, with the tide coming in, who knows what we'll catch. Both rods are going off. Yep, yep. I keep, I keep turning the camera off, but we're on again. Oh, it's swimming in weirdly. Oh, okay. That's another decent sized mangrove snapper. This might even be a keeper as well. God, and this rod's going off. Ah! All right, you stay here. This rod's going off. I don't know. No, it just got hit. We're gonna cast this guy out real quick and get that mangrove snapper. Dude, like I said, yeah, he got hit. Okay, I just saw the guts of this. I just saw the guts of that uh, mullet that was on this on this rig I just tossed out. He definitely got hit. All right, put that out. Check this guy out here. He is, he's a 10 and a half, 10 and a half, another keeper. God, all right. This guy is coming home with me. All right, he's going in the cooler. One fish in the cooler. Woo! Yeah, man. Let's see. All right, let's get some more. I just tossed in a live shrimp. I want to see how long a live shrimp will last. Considering I did catch that live. Yeah, he's already getting hit. He's already getting nailed. We got to pick this rod up just to make sure. Yep, I think we're fish on. Yep, fish on. I knew he wouldn't last long. Come on, stay on, stay pinned. Oh, he came off. God dang it. Oh man, all right. Live shrimp, cool. Right by the pylon, he was on though. Gonna rebate. Good God, guys. The action is hot, hot right now. I can't even throw artificial at the moment. Woo! That bite is on fire right now, like just blowing up. It's it's blowing my mind, really. I'm getting hit. Set the hook. Got him. Got him. Don't shake. Got him. God, I love this light tackle setup. Mangrove snappers are feisty too. I'm not sure if this is a mangrove though. Oh, this is not running like a mangrove. 
It's not running like a mangrove. Oh, oh, it's it's pulling drag, baby. God, this is good. Oh, we got a Jack Craval. Pulling in a Jack Craval right here. I was like, he is fighting pretty good. Man. Cool. I'm having so much fun. Oh man, this is great. Light tackle. Get this guy back. Oh, both rods going off. See if I can land. See if I can land both fish at the same time. There's one good sized mangrove, get them up on the beach. He feels like he's gone. Okay. That one came off the hook. This is crazy, dude. This is just crazy. I mean, wow. This guy is pushing. I don't want him to bite me, but okay. He's over 10 as well. Okay, he's going in the box. Oh, 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 oh. He was still on. Oh man, he shook my... Oh. Yeah, this is a big fish. It could, I think it might be a shark. Could be a big red fish. Let's see if I can get it in. I can get it in. Dang, that's a huge. Well, for this part, that is a big freaking bluefish. That's a big bluefish. Holy crap. This is very hard to do when you're doing the camera and the de-hooking process, but there we go. Guys, look at the size of this guy. Can you see this? You guys watching at home? Let's measure this guy up. Okay. To the fork. They have to be 12. He's almost 18. To the fork. To the fork, he's almost 18 inches. That is a big freaking bluefish. We'll get him back. Missile. Guys, I feel like Patrick Swayze in Dirty Dancing. I had the time of my life. Holy crap. I think that was my PB bluefish for Northeast Florida. That's the biggest one I think I've ever caught here. 17 and a half inches to the fork. It was actually bigger than that total length. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna break out these butt kicker haymakers. Throwing against this, this wind. This is not easy, but the barometric pressure is perfect for catching fish right now. Just had apparently a big storm over there, rain going on. Make sure you stretch and twist, stretch and twist. Get these things nice and nice and fired up. Action fired up. Perfect. I'm going to break out this seven foot slayer rod from Okuma. This thing's 
awesome this is my tarpon rod but i am going for trout i've got a two ounce jig head it's a beast of a jig head but that's only so i can get some distance in this wind look at this beast all right let's see if the trout like this guy i like fighting trout not on a set rig i, I mean catching fish is catching fish but I like to have more control than a set rig. Set rig, they can bounce around. Can't really, can't control it that well. Let's get this guy out there. Just pop it up and down. Getting short strikes. I'm getting short strikes right by this beach here. It's a pretty big lure. Pretty big lure. I got the uh, two ounce giant, giant freaking hook on there. This is the haymaker from uh, Fish Bites. It's scented, so it's definitely attracting them. This is my tarpon rod, like I said before. I've got 80 pound test on, so they might be a little shy, leader shy, as they call it, leader shy of that 80 pound test. But it's still getting hit, so I, you know, we might, we might have some dummies. I'll take any dummies I can get, let's go. The young, the young ones. Hopefully they're over 10 inches. Sun is going down. It is gorgeous here in Matanzas. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to catch fish, but we're, we are losing light. So I just wanna get this off to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, please help me out and subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach two thousand subscribers by the end of this month may happen may not i don't know but with your help it could happen also guys pb bluefish keeper mangrove snappers man i don't know what i don't even, jack creval so far that's awesome we got a really slack slack line right here but that's because I have a one ounce weight on, so, and the current is ripping in. But I gotta check just in case. It could be a big flatty. Nope, just the current. Anyway, guys, keep it reeling. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Sail away with me. Sail, sail.